Born in Barajali, in the Gambia Central River region, on the 16th of May, 1924, Sadauda rose from humble provincial beginnings to become a towering intellectual, political, and statesman, respected and admired the world over. He died peacefully at his Fajara residence on the 27th of August, 2019. But his rich legacy continues to inspire Gambian people and the nation's development. I was speaking at former Sheraton, then it was La Branda Hotel. I had just finished speaking, somebody walked in and said, by the way, can we just all remain where we are and observe a minute's silence? It has been announced that Sadauda died. That was the room froze. And in the hundreds of us that were there, you could almost hear everybody's thinking, what will happen? Sadada is not supposed to die. This man is here for what will happen. There are many thoughts going through our hearts because of who he was. Simple, sophisticated, towering, but he could be here and you wouldn't know it was him. There were no heirs. Anytime Sadada had to give a speech, we all listened. His famous boys and girls for independence, he always started boys and girls. And there was just something endearing about the man. And you saw it in the generation of his children. Gambians expressed their joy in enjoying the fragrance of peace and love that his persona gracefully manifested throughout his historic life. Jawara's legacy also lies in his commitment to democracy, human rights, and rule of law. We have not made a bad job of, 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 of things. Um, and there is no reason why we should not continue as an entity. Uh, historically, we have been an entity for centuries. There is no reason why we should not continue as a separate independent entity. Testimonies remains the same from many who answered the important question of the day, who was Sadauda? The Gambia's founding father, was a man of humanity, simplicity, who was fair to all, despite race or religion. He was his servant leader. He always put the Gambia first. And this is somebody who didn't see tribe, didn't see religion. We were all Gambians. He was trying to unite the whole country behind him so that there'll be progress. Regarded as the founding father of this great nation, he maintained a democratic mandate for nearly 30 years, five years since his demise. Gambians continue to pay homage to Sadauda as a democrat and champion of human rights. The narratives are the same, even from family members. Well, I think he handled uh, matters in the family in a very similar way. He was very fair. Um, he was never quick to judge anybody. He was also uh, very, um, very uh, happy to uh, forgive any small transgressions. Um, he would always give advice. Um, I mean, the, the one thing that uh, he always talked about and the one thing that he emphasized a lot was education of us, his uh, children, um, but also how to behave. Um, he didn't like, uh, you know, bad, <laughs> bad behavior. As the continental and international levels, Sadaudo was highly respected as a pan-Africanist who firmly believed and upheld democratic principles as the basic of political diversity and good governance, for which he was a die in the world champion. We can only hope that uh, the search for peace will continue from all directions, so that uh, in the not too distant future, uh, the Middle East will settle down to peace and pursue its goals of progress, economic and social progress. Reporting for JRTS News, I am Dado Cham.